from the old Wild West, now double ten. Pressure, pure and simple. Fitton is just not used to the big stages and bright lights, is he anymore? It's been four or five years since he's done it. Mardle here for 4 3. Double ten! Oh, unlucky! He got the deflection he wanted off that first dart, but it took him inside the ring. And the tension is quite tangible. Double five. Didn't want that. One for double two. Double two. Tension building again. Well, they both had their chances. How important could that be for Les Fitton? Mardle with those two darts at double ten to win four on the spin. Now all of a sudden the pressure is on Mardle again. Yes, and, and, and worryingly for the Mardle camp, he's beginning to have that lateral drift into five which has blighted his game for so long. And uh, if Fitton had really gone storming in here with a big Six score, it uh, might have demoralised Mardle even further. And that's better loads of room in the bed got to come along the right hand side i'll tell you what after those first three darts he would settle for that we knew didn't we that it was always going to be difficult for marvel sometimes he makes it even more difficult for himself but let's fit in a seasoned pro a seasoned performer it may be four years or so since we've seen him on our TV screens on a regular basis but uh, still got the knack got the touch 95. yes he's, he's a solid performer and uh, model needs a lot here needs ton 40 uh, needs three figures 49. and that's little short of calamitous in darting terms and his lady dollar sweating fretting and hopefully not regretting. Well, we've seen uh, we've seen one or two big names fall here at the Reebok on the opening night. This would be the biggest upset of the lot if Fitton takes out Mardle, and if Fitton breaks here, he'll be thrown for the match in the next 104 to go within one leg of victory. And Fitton hit 116, remember, in the first leg. And if it's looking at the second dart, it isn't in the treble. We couldn't quite see it with our angle. But now Marble needs Shanghai and needs it very badly. Needs the treble 20 with this dart. Needs the double to square the match. Terrific. That really is pressure shot from Marble. Let's watch it again and applaud. Marble really showing all his fire and talent. What a throw, what a dart from Wayne Mardle uh, under the pressure that he must be under. That was some dart from Mardle. Remember, he's been laid low with the mumps for a good two or three months. And uh, if all the legs though go with throw, he's still got to break fitting again, either in this leg or possibly in a decider. Great drama, but this is what this tournament is all about. Well, it, it, it has a magic charm, hasn't it, all its own? And we've seen already this is what the seventh staging, and it never fails to entertain and, and surprise us. It is the working man's theatre. And this man loves being centre stage. Not with darts like that. You can see how model his emotions he's up or he's down and uh, he's got to be in there slugging long way behind here time beginning to tick down for both players 55. Uh, hesitate to say that they're bearing in mind his recent health but that was a, a lumpy shot from uh, Wayne model well fitting here can sense it, can't he? You can sniff the scalp of Mardle. Uh, the last uh, nine darts from Mardle really have been uh, disappointing for his followers. Oh, it's got to go. Double eight. He wanted the single 16. So <laughs> he's going a circuitous route. 
That's the double. <laughs> Damn. Talk about round the houses. And Wayne would have been hoping to have kept closer order because you just get the feeling that Les Fitton isn't going to miss this time. All about the well. pressure. Well, well then. And Model in with a chance he could never have been anticipating. 108 needs it, needs it. He would have uh, the throw. 18 now. Double 18 is the shot, and again, Wayne Marble has found the finish at precisely the right moment. He has come from nowhere. That is grand larceny. Well, that is simply sensational. He was 3-0 down, he was 4-3 down, and he's pulled out two fantastic finishes. A 120 to win the eighth, a 108 to win the ninth. And Mardle here, who could have been four down, is now throwing for the match with fantastic darts like that. What a turnaround. And what was it we were saying five minutes ago? Mardle needed a spark. He's now providing the flame. And uh, remarkably, Wayne Mardle has hit a double Shanghai finish on 20s and 18s, double Shanghai, double sweet. 100. Oh, what a comeback from Wayne Marvel. What a performance. 95. Don't forget, he was 3-0 down, and we knew how important it was, Dave, didn't we, when Fitton missed those two darts to go 4-0 up. Marvel has won five out of the last six legs, and uh, you've got to say, it's great to see. It's, it's a courageous performance from Mardel, but those two uh, Shanghai finishes on 20 and then on 18, under this sort of pressure, it may only be the first round, but brilliant. And he set himself up here perfectly. He has timed his run to perfection, like Sebastian Coe in an Olympic 1500 metres final. He's come good at the right moment, and that's a double that could win it for him. That's the marker dart. Now, double nine. And he squeezed it in, and Marvel has come back from 3-0 down to snatch a famous victory. What a terrific performance from Wayne Marvel. He was 3-0 down, and Les Fitton missed two darts to go 4-0 up, and you can see what it means to him after all the problems he's had with his months having to pull out of the Premier League. This was so, so important. Absolutely terrific from Marvel. Those two finishes on 120 and 108, and he won six out of the last seven. Let's go downstairs and hear from Wayne. He's talking to Rod Stubb. Wayne, you looked down and out more than once in that game, but somehow, from somewhere, you pulled it out of the fire. Well done. Uh, I've been feeling great. Honestly, I felt great throughout the game, but I, I was snatching and I was going low. I was eating fives, but the, I'm, I'm really up for this. And I think that pulled me through in the end, to be honest. The, the two finishes, the 120 and the 108, I'm known for big finishes. I'm known as a finisher. <laughs> uh, no, I got away with it. And Les was probably a better player than me. But how many games have I lost where someone's uh, not been as good as me and I've lost it? We know you've been ill with mumps and we know you had to pull out of the Premier League with that. How are you feeling now physically? Oh, I feel dreadful. No, I feel, I'm all right. I'm, I'm all right. I'm not going to make any excuses. I, I feel fine. And to be honest, I think my game is in, in really good nick. But I just didn't do it there. I'm, I'm disappointed, even though I won and I was lucky to win. I'm disappointed with the way I played, so I'm going to go back and try and sort things out. Yeah, perhaps it's unfair of me to say that it hasn't been the kindest of tournaments to you, you've never got beyond the last 16, so maybe this year, maybe you do. You're not unfair to say that, it's been a dreadful tournament for me, and uh, draws have been a major factor, I've, I've had terrible draws. No, seriously, it's uh, never performed here, never performed, and uh, I'm through to tomorrow now, where all the big boys come in. Well, enjoy seeing your name being pulled out of the draw, thanks Wayne. Yeah, I'm looking forward